Why so serious? Why so serious? You already know I'm mad at Discovery for the many selfish business decisions Zaslav made during the past few years. We lost the Looney Tunes, Batgirl, and even Cartoon Network. In exchange, we got Harry Potter, Velma, and sadly, Joker 2. And the worst part is, it never had to be this way. This is Andy Bishonen Speaks. You know, WB, I don't get your motives. You keep cutting asset after asset in order to get a tax write-off because you spend too much money on getting Time Warner that you put it against their balance sheet instead of your own. It seems they forget that in order to make money, they should use their available assets to create more sales and customers instead of burning them. This is the guy who tanked Batgirl despite getting rave reviews from the harshest critics. And now we get to the point where the Joker held the beer from Borderlands, Harold in a Purple Crayon, Coppola, or whatever Sony did to make the PlayStation fell out of favor. It seems they forgot to pre-screen Joker 2 for critics. Whether it's intentional or not, I'm willing to bet the CEO didn't even bother to watch a movie himself. Oh wait, he doesn't care because it doesn't affect him at all. And you know what could have been simpler? Creating the same situation with Harley Quinn with a more interesting backstory than the Joker breaking her. Half society turned against Harley due to sexism and bigotry. Or basically, a parody of A Star is Born. There! That's Joker 2! You didn't have to disguise it as a musical or embarrass yourself with critics. Had Discovery put a bunch of money on junk like Mindy Kaling Mysteries or Defending J.K. Rowley, they should have spent money on a script treatment instead of whatever the producers were blending out. And when I said a script treatment, I mean a real script treatment, not something you put through Dolly. And now that I think about it, if there's something AI should replace, it's the incompetent CEOs. It came to the point that Joker 2 bombed so hard that Mobius had a better opening weekend. Yes! The other actor who played Joker made more ticket sales on opening weekend than Joker 2. You fig figure that out. I don't care. There's also a likelihood lobbyists are trying to prevent Hollywood from appearing at the Razzies and try to get an Academy Award for a non-competitive category. I mean, if it worked for Suicide Squad, I would say it would probably work for Joker 2. And you know what? That's it. That's it for me. I'm signing out.